Hi everyone, so today I want to do a comparison of the continuous autofocus with face detect in video between my EM10 Mark II with the 14 to 42 kit lens and on my right the EM1 Mark II with the 12 to 40 Pro lens. Because those, those are the respective lenses you'll be using with these cameras. So I think it's a, it's a fair comparison in that respect. I'm not cheating by putting a Pro lens on an entry level body and vice versa. Uh, but it's not an exact apples to oranges kind of comparison, right? or apples to apples I should say. So uh, it is what it is. Now I've noticed in, in previous videos that the EM1, EM10 Mark II is a little bit warmer uh, color rendition than the EM1 Mark II. Uh, my face is a little bit redder than most and I'm outside so it's probably even redder than it, than it already is. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video. I'm going to try and do some color corrections and kind of swap between the two or I'll let you know when I do. Uh, you know with a text or something but uh, just try to ignore the color because this is really about um, autofocus right so what I'll be doing is you know I'm gonna have a conversation because I want to talk about 2018 and 2019 and then uh, you know so I'll be walking around sort of in and out of frame back and forth and uh, seeing how the camera just naturally autofocuses you know I didn't want to do uh, sort of an artificial test uh, indoors right I think when you come outdoors where the lighting's always changing and you got lots of distractions you know for the autofocus to kind of pick up on it's a little bit more realistic uh, presentation or uh, representation of the, what you can expect if you get a camera whether it's the EM10 Mark II with the kit lens or the EM1 Mark II with the uh, 12 to 40 Pro uh, so that being said let's talk about 2018 because I got, I got a lot of questions this year about, uh, you know, what should I upgrade to? You know, like I have the uh, EM10 Mark I and I want to upgrade to, you know, the EM10 Mark II or the Mark III or, uh, you know. So, you know, I get a lot of questions like that, right? I have the Mark I, I want to upgrade to the Mark II or Mark III. And, uh, you know, honestly, if you only shoot photography stills, I, I don't think you need to upgrade from a Mark I to a Mark II or Mark III, to be honest because uh, the, the image quality that's coming out of the Mark 1s are still excellent, really, really good. Uh, and I, I don't think spending $500, $1,000, you know, uh, on a Mark 2 or Mark 3 and expect to get better image quality, you know, dollar for dollar, you know, dollar per pixel or whatever. It's just, it's just not worth it. Uh, your money's better spent getting a uh, good lens, right? Go out and get the 45 millimeter f1.8 or, you know, get that eight millimeter fisheye or something, you know, get, get another lens, really, for that kind of money. I wouldn't upgrade to a Mark II or Mark III, uh, but I'm gonna give you two exceptions to that, okay? One being uh, video. If you're thinking about doing video, upgrading to a Mark II, whether it's the EM10 or the EM5, yeah, you're gonna see a substantial upgrade there. Uh, the, the, the video quality is just so much better in those cameras. Uh, in addition to the uh, in-body stabilization is much better. And in-body in stabilization is more for video. And still photography, you know, you, you really still be, should be shooting like you don't have in-body stabilization. You should be shooting, uh, you know, the rule of doubles or whatever they call it, you know, double your shutter speed over your focal length. Uh, but it can come in handy, the IBIS. The IBIS, the three axis IBIS, I think, in the Mark I's are good enough for photography, but not for video. Uh, and if you're gonna do Mark II, the EM5 Mark II makes the most sense to me uh, because it has the flippy screen, the mic jack. Uh, you can get the battery grip, so it has a headphone output for monitoring. And, uh, you know, it has the all intra video codec. I mean, it's it's really a great camera for video. Uh, so yeah, that, that makes sense to me. But you know, if I have to be honest though, if you're not heavily invested in Olympus Glass already, uh, you know, like you don't have, you have like one lens for Olympus, <laughs> uh, you may want to consider getting the G85 uh, with the grip. Cause that has, uh, in addition to, uh, 4k video and probably better preamps for sound uh what was i gonna say 
it has um, it has unlimited recording. It doesn't have that 30 minute time limit. And that's really actually pretty handy if you're recording like seminars and speeches or um, you know sporting events, things like that. Having an unlimited recording time and if you get the grip for it, uh, you can get a couple hours straight out of that camera, just like the EM5 Mark II. But the EM5 Mark II, it, it, it can be disruptive if you have to you know, uh, start the recording again every 30 minutes. Uh, so the G85 with the 4K, and I don't I don't promote 4K too much because, whew, man, I, I shot a 30 minute 4K video a couple months ago, and I filled up a 64 gig card. <laughs> and I was like, I am not dealing with that kind of uh, file size ever again. That that's just too much. Uh, you know, I don't have the hard drive space or the. Uh, uh, computing power to deal with all of that that's just too much and a lot of people you know regardless of their level of experience I don't think they shoot 4k if they don't have to <laughs> uh, with, with some exceptions right there's there's uh, I think Tony Northrop says he shoots 4k a lot in 60p and there's another guy I forget his name he's uh, he shoots only 4k 422 10 bit output uh, he might even be using one of those red cameras, but I digress. Uh, so yeah, if you're doing video, yeah, EM5 Mark II or maybe the G85 if you don't have a lot of Olympus glass already because, you know, the, the lenses work best with their respective manufacturers. So Panasonic lenses with Panasonic bodies and vice versa, Olympus um, lenses with Olympus bodies. Because when you're shooting video, I've noticed when you use the opposite manufacturer's uh, lenses, it doesn't work as well. Uh, and, you know, so that, that's what I'm saying. If you're not heavily invested in Olympus Glass, maybe the G85, because it's about the same price and give you uh, better video features. Um, now, the other exception to not upgrading uh, from a Mark I to a Mark II, a Mark III is sports action wildlife photography then your only upgrade path really is the EM-1 Mark II. Uh, particularly if you're heavily invested in Olympus Glass already because that, that's where you'll see a significant improvement in uh, continuous autofocus, uh, continuous shutter speeds up to like, you know, you can do 60 frames per second raw uh, with single point focus and then you can do 18 frames per second in silent mode continuous autofocus and it, it works. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and that's that's hard to beat uh, and it has the pro capture feature so yeah it, it's a substantial upgrade if you spend five or six hundred on your EM10 yeah you're looking at two grand with a pro lens you know the 12 to 40 pro lens uh, to upgrade to the EM1 Mark II and you can find them refurbed or brand new for 15 or 1600 bucks but it's money well spent uh, in my opinion if if you're going to go into that kind of photography where you want that fast shutter speed, faster focus, and, and the image quality is better at higher ISOs. So you can go up to about 6400 ISO and, and you will see a difference between you know the EM1 Mark II and the uh, Mark I and even the other Mark II bodies. Uh, it is better. That along with the 20 megapixel sensor, you know, you get a little bit more resolution. So uh, yeah, if you're doing video or you need that high-speed shutter, uh, EM1 Mark II is probably your next next best bet. It's, it's really your only upgrade path, in my opinion. I would skip all of the other Mark IIs, the EM10 Mark II, EM5 Mark II, EM10 Mark III, I'd skip that. I'd jump right to the EM1 Mark II. You know, I forgot to talk about the Pen F a little bit, because uh, sometimes I get questions about if you should upgrade to this camera. And uh, honestly, I think if it's your second camera, this is awesome because this is a very niche camera. It makes a great second camera. Uh, and it's got a lot of features in it that are very unique to this camera. You know, like the lens profile feature that only the M1s have. It has this creative dial. It has this highlight shadow with midtones, And it has the, uh, you can tweak the colors individually, you know, the saturation of the colors. So it has an awesome, awesome JPEG engine. And if you like this rangefinder style, 
And I, I love it. I love this camera. I just wouldn't upgrade to this camera, but I would make it a good second camera. Or if you shoot primarily still than photography, this is a great like only camera you have <laughs> if you like this style. Let me just add one more thought. There's so many great cameras out there uh, and really you need to get the camera that uh, you're going to enjoy shooting with because I think that really if you don't like your camera you're going to take bad pictures. <laughs> That's just how I feel. That energy or that aura that you have while you're out shooting when you're with your camera is going to translate into your images and if you love your camera you're going to take better pictures. Uh, and, and that's that's how I feel about the Pen F. I just love this camera. Uh, this camera was like my second camera. This was not like a primary camera. I didn't buy this camera because of what it is. I bought it because it makes it. You know, I I just fell in love with the looks and the build quality, uh, and it makes it makes an awesome second camera for me. It's not my primary, but it's it's really the camera I enjoy shooting with most. And and that's my message is. It's, it's find a camera, whether it's the Fuji or, you know, the Nikons, Canon, people love their Canon colors. Uh, it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is if you like the camera, you're going to take better pictures. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what, what do you think about 2019? What cameras are you kind of looking forward to or, or features for that matter? And uh, also let me know what you thought about the autofocus on these two cameras. Uh, hopefully they you know, the EM10 Mark II did a good job. I, I've always been impressed by everything that camera can do, uh, but I've never tested it for autofocus like I have today. So, as usual, thanks again for watching, and uh, if you'd like to see more videos, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.